Hey yo, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, beautiful people of the internet. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and welcome back to another lovely edition of the News with Nate. You're on the road once again, and I am bringing you some news topics that I have to share with you, so be sure to scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and let's just jump into it. Today in the news, we've got an awful big one. We have Ricky Garrard. Every time year since 2017, this dude has been scrutinized for the decisions he made back in 2017 following the ban after the 2017 games he's gone on a podcast with chase ingram and essentially admitted that he intentionally took PED. The right of the morning chocolate is done. I'm going to read from right now, which is quoting the podcast saying specifically to the 2017 CrossFit Games testing pause. Did you knowingly take the PEDs for the CrossFit Games? Asked Chase Ingram. Ricky Garrard replies, yes. Ingram asks, did you take them at the 2017 regionals to qualify for the CrossFit Games? Garrard replies, yes, I did. Ingram asks, have you taken them since you tested positive October 13, 2017 when your ban started? To which Ricky replied, definitely not. Also go on to write that in a new headline, Justin Coulter, coach of Underdog Athletics down in Vegas, has looked to take on Ricky as an athlete or and or mentor. They don't quite specify as to what exactly he's going to be doing, but there's going to be some sort of relationship form between the two of them. And then obviously the interview goes on. I'll link that down below. You can check it out. There's a lot more that they cover and it's, it is really in depth. Ricky Rod posting on his own social media, talking about how raw, open and honest he was in that interview compared to what he has done since. And I mean, this is really one of the first times we've heard him personally speak out about this in the last four years. He's obviously been rather you know, quiet within himself about the actual ban situation and about the steroid stuff. Initially, obviously his response and his reply, we all know what it was, we don't need to hash that up again. But since probably the first couple months after his ban, we haven't really heard much from him. So obviously with his ban ending this Sunday, this is kind of the big opening. This is kind of what we've all been waiting for, to hear from him, to hear his thoughts, how he's going to be moving forward. To be honest, I'm a little bit shocked and surprised to hear him just admitting that he was intentionally taking this on, that this was something that he was knowingly doing. Because obviously we thought and we had heard claims that this was something that was in a supplement, whatever. We have recently seen athletes come out who have tested positive for a drug, be able to prove that it was supplement contamination. So I'm sure a few of us were like, hey, maybe he was telling the truth way back when. I think it's good that he came out and said this. I mean, I'm not, there's no there's no opinions here that really need to be shared. At the end of the day, he's coming back on Sunday. He did what he thinks is best. Good for him. He's owning it, moving forward, whatever. There's going to be so many people that are upset, obviously, that he took this long to say it. But at the end of the day, this guy is looking to move forward. He's making the steps. He's looking to move forward in the sport. It seems like he's linking up with the right people and Justin Coulter, like legitimate, respected people in the sport. And it seems like he's making a conceited effort to go forward. This is one of the stories that I get asked most about in real life and online. People always want to know my thoughts on this. I mean, again, I, I have nothing personally against this guy. You know, I obviously athletes and things in the sport may have different opinions, but personally, I have no problem with the guy. He served his ban. He's coming back. I'm definitely interested to see his return. We've talked about it before coming back to the Dubai CrossFit Championships. That's going to be a marketing extravaganza. But it does sound, at least from this interview, from the tone he's taking, from coming out and admitting his wrongs, that he was intentionally taking the drug for the first time. It's just, I, I think he's trying to play it a little safer and a little cleaner. I think it would have been very easy for him to come back and just keep playing straight villain role. I think he probably could have had more eyes and more attention if he just came back and was like, obviously didn't admit to taking the drug and just came back calling people out, like left, right, and center, like the whole thing that went viral with the Fraser comments and whatever. Like, if he would have come back and just played a villain and almost maybe could have played to his advantage as far as like marketability and whatever, but I don't think that's the route he's willing to, or wanting to take. It seems like he's not doing this for the publicity. He's not doing this for the eyeballs to be on him. He's doing this from for a genuine love of the sport from what it seems like. He was 23 years old. He made a mistake. James Newberry came out and made some very interesting comments in regards to this whole situation, basically just saying that he doesn't condone or agree with what Ricky did and that his penalty was necessary. However, he strongly disagrees with the relentless, nasty, and downright cruel comments that he has received. Forgiveness, kindness, and compassion aren't traits for the weak, but we are the strong. I think it's about time that we, our kind and compassionate community, jump off the high horse and, sh and show each other the ability to let mistakes of a 23 year old kid go once and for all. I mean, I think that echoes a great point of what I'm kind of trying to say here is that like, you know, I think holding this guy to the stake into the fire and if he would have come back and tried to play this villain role, whatever, like it would have been short lived. He probably would have had more hype and more eyes on him immediately. Obviously this Dubai situation is going to be the pinnacle of that. He could have kept pushing it and milking it further, but it sounds like he really is trying to take this sport 
legit he really does feel like he made a mistake back then i don't think it was his intention to become this villain character and i think he's really looking to make a man i mean it's it's still all to be seen this is all talk and talk and talk and talk so we'll have to wait and see what happens going forward this season next season whatever and what happens with him but i for one i'm certainly fascinated i am you know i i think it's great that he admitted what happened i think there's gonna be mixed opinions from people who feel like he why didn't he just do it sooner why is he doing it now whatever regardless of what your thoughts and opinions are i think it's definitely just like let the guy go let him go let him do his thing he's coming back to the sport there's no getting around it i think we're all interested to see how he's going to fare he's obviously going to be tested he's obviously going to be held to maybe even potentially a stricter regime people obviously commenting that the random drug tests at dubai will definitely fall on him so i mean the dude's going to be held up and if he holds up if he holds himself up and holds himself to a high standard and really takes this sport honestly and takes his community respectively moving forward I think he could have a lot of success. So anyway, I just, that's the news. Big story, obviously, big headline. Wanted to bring that to your faces. Comment down below everything you guys think and want to know about this. If you know more about this, if you watch the whole interview and have some insights on it that I didn't cover, drop them down in the comments below. Start that conversation. And with that, I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Peace. Also, real quick, for those of you who are interested in following along with behind the scenes of my travel, I've started posting daily vlogs on TikTok. So if you want to follow me, I'll link it down below. You can check them out. I'm posting every single day, multiple times a day. It's very much like the vlogs I used to post on here. I'm trying something a little new. Go down below. Follow. Check it out.